That's hot. Man, is that hot. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, I'm going to do a quick video on something new. Something new to me. It's a different type of drywall tape for drywall repairs. I've been using these two for a long time. Less and less and less of this mesh tape. Why do people use mesh tape? Uh, they think it's easier because it's got a little bit of a sticky back to it. It sticks to the wall just long enough for you to get ready to put some mud on it before it, it wrinkles up and falls on the floor. Sometimes if you get a fresh one, you can get some, get some good stick on there. I like using paper tape. The main reason is it lays flat and you have less of a hump and you have to spread your repair out over less of a distance to cover this up. People have been asking me, what about the fiber fuse? Fiber fuse, you gotta use a fiber fuse. Fiber fuse, fiber, fiber fuse. And I've never used it, but I got a, I got a new roll of it. Got a brand new roll of fiber fuse. I'm gonna test it for you. I'm gonna give you my impressions. It's supposed to lay flat, so you don't have to have the problem with this here. It's supposed to be easy to, to tear. It is fiberglass, and it's a, it's a, a mat. Like fiberglass mat. It does not look like this. We'll take a close up here in a second once I open it up. Some issues with paper tape for your DIY application. You can get your mixture wrong and it could be too dry or too thick and you don't have this tape bedded in there securely. You can get little bubbles underneath it where you get a dry spot. The fiber fuse is supposed to alleviate all problems with these two here. It's supposed to be a miracle. I'm gonna find out today. It could be life-changing. You guys get a good, good view of what that looks like. You got some nice bright lights behind you. It's very fine fiberglass mat. It's gonna make it easy for the joint compound to bed into it. You won't have to thin down your joint compound as much as if you were doing paper tape. You should still mix it and thin it down a little bit to get it fully bedded in there. It is fiberglass. So you're gonna to wanna to take some precautions. You don't wanna be rubbing this in sensitive areas. Before we start, I gotta get my famous onesie on. There'll be a link in the description of where you can get your own onesie. You keep your fancy clothes nice and clean, especially your handyman t-shirt, your man shirt. You can get these at the handyman.store. It wants the lotion on the skin, or it gets the holes. The old lantern. There's a flash sale on Olight. Link will be in the description. Lots of discounts on the lantern. They've got uh, fancy new colors coming out. This is the Warrior X Pro in this color. As most of you know, I never leave home without my SR2 Baton 2. If you find something that's not on sale, there is a code, it's called Handy. You can use that code to get a discount on non-sale items. So check the links in the description. Go check out the old lantern, little camping lantern. I'm back. Got my onesie on. Got my mud mixed. It might be a little on the thick side. I'm not sure. This is the first time ever using the Fiber Fuse. I think, I think it'll work either way. Things get a little bit messier when you go soupier. Not very much in the way it seems on this project. Got one seam up top that will just be above the door trim. On the, on the back side of this, there will be no seams. Okay, let's see how well it tears. Oh yeah, that was nice. Because I went a little thick, I've got a squeegee out more than if it was thinner, more thin. That can cause a little bit of a hump. When I do this long run here, I'll be thinning it down a little bit. Yeah, I should be getting more out. All right. 
I thinned it down a little bit more, it, it may even still need a little bit more. But we're going with it. Don't want it on there too thick because you got a squeegee. I'm using the term squeegee, but you've got to get it to lay as flat as possible so that you have as small of a hump as possible. Getting a wet coat over the top of it now. can't work it too much. If you run the knife across it too much, like more than twice, it'll start to disintegrate and rip away. You gotta be gentle with it. Like I said, it's my first time using it. It's, it's definitely fully saturated and bedded into the seam there. I'm trying to use the light, shine of the light there. See up here, looks pretty good. It is very flat laying, much better than the mesh tape. I need to get more time with it. There's a reason everybody says, hey, go try this Fiba fuse. And well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop using paper tape. Got a big, <clears throat> massive, massive remodel coming up this winter. It's gonna take me like a month. It might even take me more than a month, but it's so massive and so awesome and it's so different. It's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button uh, and the bell so you know when that comes out. So we will see how this finishes out. Don't have to. It's kind of my thing is, is I really like finishing drywall repairs. So I'm gonna take all these shelves off and float this seam way out to here. I'm doing it just for me and for you. I can easily float it out to here, texture, prime, and paint, and the customer would be very happy. Pretty sure there's an Olight flash sale that you should go check out. I'm giving you a day or so more notice than I usually do because they sell out so fast of what they have on sale because it's discounted 30 to 40, sometimes even more than 40%. Just the other night, I was uh, cutting drywall in a dim garage and I could barely see my, my chalk lines. Problem solved right there, boom. Even real, real bright. Didn't have to go look for a light. Didn't have to go find a headlamp. It's always, always in my pocket. Links in the description. Go check it out.